Hi there, welcome to your mat. Welcome to your yoga practice. I am wearing my Saturday shirt, even though it might not be Saturday where you are. Maybe it's Saturday somewhere. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to do a quick leg yoga video today. So you'll feel your legs by the end of this video, put on some comfy clothing, grab your yoga mat, and we'll get started. We're going to begin. Um, I have some quinoa and some chana masala waiting for me, so I'm really excited. Let's get this leg yoga practice in quick and then I can go eat. So we're gonna start standing in mountain pose. Bring your arms down by your sides, turn your palms face forward. Maybe lift your toes, spread them as wide as you can, and then place them back into the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose, maybe out through the mouth. Just centering ourselves, bringing us to the present moment, feeling your feet on the mat, feeling your body standing tall, maybe a little core engagement, maybe a little leg muscle activation, relaxing the shoulders as you close your eyes. Taking these deep breaths, feeling into the body, Maybe you come up with an intention for your quick practice. I am strong. I can breathe. I am doing this for me. I am strong. I can breathe. I am doing this for me. Once you feel centered, rooted, and present, slowly blink the eyes open. Let's take an energizing breath. Inhale to reach high. Exhale, hands to heart. One more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, now let's place our hands on our hips. Do some ankle rolls, just rotate one foot on your mat in one direction. And then switch directions. Maybe there's some creaks and cracks of the toes or the ankles. And another foot. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just waking up the ankles, arches of the feet. Switch directions. All right, now we're gonna find a little balance. So spread your right toes as wide as you can, and then place them back down into the mat, and start to lift your left leg. See if you can find your core nice and tight, standing tall, squeezing the right leg muscles, lift the left knee a little higher, and then maybe start to make some rotations in your hip. See if you can find balance and then switch just to in each direction <laughs> maybe a little challenging to balance today lift the left toes spread them wide and then place them down and start to lift the right knee see if you can hover maybe lift a little higher find your dristi keep your core tight dristi is a focus for your eyes so just fix your eyes on something and just stare in that spot and then two circles in one direction and then switch two circles in the other direction good and then shake out your legs all right coming into our yogi squat right away toes out heels in inhale reach the arms high maybe watch the palms touch and as you exhale sink into your yogi squat maybe only lower halfway and then inhale to stand exhale sink a little lower inhale to stand Exhale, sink nice and low. Maybe you get your elbows inside your knees. Pausing here in your yogi squat. Hips are low, chest is high. Draw those shoulder blades back, collarbones open. Firmly pressing into your prayer hands. Breathing here, feeling into those hips. All right, now if you can't get this low, that's okay. Maybe you're here today and that's fine. From here, let's take an inhale and exhale, lower your hands. Inhale, lift your hips, and heel toe, heel toe, your feet hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway. Find a nice flat back here. Hands can rest on the legs. Press slightly into your legs. Stick your tailbone out, ta tailbone out, chest forward. Take a breath in, and then exhale, soft knees as you fold. One more, inhale, halfway, straight legs, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to stand, reach the arms up to the ceiling, and then exhale as you bring your hands to heart center. All right, let's inhale to reach high. Exhale to fold over the legs. 
Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, point your hands, step your left toes back, lower your left knee. Inhale to look forward. Maybe stay high on your fingertips. Try to straighten your back. And then exhale to step the left foot up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hand, step the right foot back, lower your right knee. Stay high on your fingertips and try to shine the chest forward, straight spine, shoulders back. And then look down, step forward with the right foot. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, inhale, reach high. And then keep your arms lifted as you heel toe your feet together. Bring your big toes to touch, leave a little space between your heels. Now try not to let the shoulders get too tired here. If you need to bring your hands to heart center, you can. But if you're okay with the arms lifted, take an inhale here. Exhale, sink into chair pose. So just start to bend your knees and think like you're sitting into an invisible chair. Now with your hips back, knees bent, maybe lift your toes. Good, breathing here. Now, if you like, bring your arms forward, turn your palms face down. We're going to try awkward chair. So when you're ready, lower your toes and lift your heels. Try to find a nice straight spine and then sink those hips a little lower. Breathing here. Now we're going to find our rocking chair. Take an inhale first. Exhale, lower your heels, lift your toes, sweep the arms back. Inhale, awkward chair, lift the heels, arms forward. Exhale, regular chair, sweep the arms back. Inhale, awkward chair, lift the heels. Exhale, regular chair, lift the toes. Inhale, and exhale. Let's do three more. Inhale, breathe into those quads. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, sink a little lower. Exhale, last one. Inhale and exhale good now bring your hands back to heart center come back to that awkward chair lift those heels take an inhale here exhale lower for three two one back up inhale for three two one exhale back down three two one inhale back up three two one lower the heels inhale stand Maybe a little back bend, prayer hands behind your head, and then soft knees as you exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to stand, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's make our way into tabletop. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold over soft knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and come to your tabletop. All right, separate your knees wider than your hips. Bring your big toes together. Sit your hips back into a child's pose. Child's pose, ideally the hips are towards the heels. If your hips are a little bit tight, that's okay. You can be much higher. But let, try to let your belly rest between your thighs as you lower your forehead to the mat. Maybe you're able to extend your arms forward. Give those shoulders a little break. And then maybe give your forehead a gentle rock from side to side. Maybe a little sway of the shoulders, sway of the hips. All right, we're gonna get into the hips a little bit more. Slowly come up, back to your tabletop. Let's find downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Now you can give your head a little shake, give your head a little nod, and then maybe start to pedal out your feet. In downward dog, our feet are about hip width apart or closer. And then our hands are shoulder distance apart or wider. Now pedaling the feet means coming high to your toes, bending one knee and then lower the opposite heel with a straight leg. Inhale high to your toes and then switch, bend the other knee, lower the opposite heel with a straight leg. Good. All right. Now from here, let's inhale the right leg up to the ceiling. So see if you can come to three-legged dog. And then as you exhale, bend your knee and try to stack your right hip on top of your left. Point that right knee up to the ceiling. Try to keep your shoulders square. Your left shoulder might drop. Bring it back in line with the right. Now two large circles with the right knee. Waking up that hip. And then switch directions. Two large circles the other way. 
Good, and then inhale, extend the leg, three-legged dog, lift that right leg up to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, bring your foot between your hands. Adjust your left foot so the pinky edge of the foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat and cartwheel the arms up for your warrior two. All right, pausing here. Nice strong warrior. Our arms are in line with our shoulders. Our right big toe is pointing straight ahead. And the pinky edge of our left foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat. Now from here, we're gonna feel into that right quad, even into our left hip. All right, let's bring your hands to heart center. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, bend your left knee, straighten your right leg, lift those right toes up to the ceiling as you bend into your left knee. Inhale, warrior two, arms out to the side, bend the right knee, exhale, side lunge, sink into that left hip, bend the left knee. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, side lunge, inhale, warrior two, exhale, side lunge, well done. Let's return back to warrior two, and then cartwheel the arms down. Inhale, three-legged dog, strong shoulders as you lift the right leg, exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's do the other side. Inhale the left leg high. And then as you exhale, bend your knee and try to stack your hip. See if you can point that left knee up to the ceiling. Square off your shoulders. Right shoulder in line with the left. And then see if you can make two big circles in one direction with your left hip. And then switch other direction. Now from here, let's inhale the leg up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose and step it through. Warrior two on the other side, adjust your right foot, bend your left knee. Check to make sure the pinky edge of the right foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat and your left big toe is pointing straight ahead, arms in line with the shoulders. All right, now from here, let's take an inhale to prepare and then exhale as you bring your hands to heart center, bend your right knee, lift your left toes. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side lunge. Let's keep going. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side lunge. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift the left leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out the feet, maybe sway the hips. All right, we have one more round, changing it up a little bit. Let's start with the left foot. So inhale the left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Back to your warrior two. All right, now let's place our hands inside our left foot on the mat. Turn your left toes slightly and lift those right toes back to that side lunge. Now we're just gonna walk all the way over to bend the right knee, lift the left toes. Walk the hands over and switch. Keep alternating sides. Good, keep going. Now maybe you bring your hands to heart center. Maybe you open your arms out to the sides. Can you go from side to side? Good, breathing into those legs. Inhale in the transition. Exhale as you bend. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you bend. Let's do one more each side. Breathing deeply. Good, as you come back to center, hands to hips. Let's pigeon toe, toes in, heels out. Nice wide-legged stance. Inhale with your hands on your hips, look up. Exhale, soft knees, stick your tailbone out behind you as you release your hands and your head. We've got a nice deep wide-legged fold here. You can keep a little bend in the knees if you need them. Option to spin your hands around and walk your hands through your legs. Bending those elbows, fold a little deeper. You can grab onto your shins or your ankles and maybe fold even more. Release the head and neck. Maybe give your head a little shake. Maybe give your head a little nod. One more deep breath here. 
Good. And then return your hands to the mat underneath your face. And then start to walk your hands slightly forward as you stick your tailbone out behind you. Wide-legged down dog. Nice. And then as you walk your hands back, little bend in the knees. Heel toe, heel toe your feet. Hip distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Plant your hands and then adjust your feet for one more yogi squat. Toes are out, heels are in. Sink your hips nice and low. And then bring your hands to heart center. All right. This is the end of our practice. You may finish in a yogi squat if you're able to sit here for one to two minutes. If you want to sit in easy pose or child's pose or even shavasana, lower your hands. Inhale, lift your hips. Heel toe, heel toe, nice and close together. And then come to seated or go ahead and enjoy a child's pose. All right. As per usual, the last minute and a half, two minutes, you may meditate, lay down, close your eyes. Bring your thoughts to the present moment. I will play some soft, calming music. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel in this video. Leave a comment below. My name is Ashley. You can call me Ash. Thank you so much for joining me. I will leave the music playing. Once the music fizzles out, you'll know your meditation is over for this practice. From my love and light to yours, have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.